Pay attention. Notice something that bothers you, that concerns you, which you could fix, that you would fix. You can find such things by asking yourself genuinely three questions. What is it that is bothering me? Is that something I could fix? And would I actually be willing to fix it? If you find the answer is no to any or all of the questions, then look elsewhere, aim lower. Search until you find something that bothers you, that you could fix, that you would fix, and then fix it. That might be enough for the day. And this is, a, this is very simple. It's not about changing the world here. Maybe there's a stack of papers on your desk and you've been avoiding it. I'll get to it later, get to it next week. It's bothering you though, back of your head, you think about it every week. So that, 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 that would be better cleaned up. My environment would be better if I clean that up. You walk into your room, there are terrible things lurking there. Tax forms, bills, letters, people wanting things from you. Notice your fear and you have some sympathy for it. Maybe there are sn snakes in that pile of paper. Metaphorical snakes. Maybe you'll get bitten. Maybe there are even hydras lurking in there. You'll cut one head off and seven more will grow. How could you possibly cope with that? This is a metaphor for people avoiding the little mundane problems that build up over their lives. So you can ask yourself, is there anything at all I might be willing to do about this pile of paper? Would I look maybe at one part of it for 20 minutes? Maybe the answer would be no. Nope, not doing it. What about 10 minutes? What about 5 minutes? What about 1? How about 1 minute? How about you put a 60 second timer on and you start looking at a problem that you've been postponing and you work on it for 60 seconds. You start there, you start small. Because that's something. And you'll soon find the entire pile shrinks in significance merely because you've looked at a part of it. But what if you allowed yourself a glass of wine with dinner or curled up with, on the sofa and read? Or watch a stupid movie as a reward? What if you instructed your wife or your husband to say good job after you fix whatever you fixed? Would that motivate you? Maybe, maybe not. It's up to you to find what motivates you. These are simply ideas. Ask yourself, what do you require to be motivated to undertake the job? Honestly, listen to the answer. Don't tell yourself I shouldn't need to do that to motivate myself. What do you know about yourself? You got all these problems and now you're saying like, ah, oh, who says I should? I don't need to motivate myself? Well, you wouldn't be here. You wouldn't have this problem if you already knew the answer. So you might as well try it. You're the most complex thing. We are the most complex thing that the universe has ever constructed. Human beings. Don't ever overestimate your self-knowledge. Maybe you can do this in the morning as you sit on the edge of your bed. Maybe you can try the night before when you're preparing to sleep. Ask yourself for a voluntary contribution of understanding more about yourself and what motivates you. If you ask nicely, listen carefully, and don't try any treachery, you might be offered an answer. Do this every day for a while, just for a minute, 30 seconds, then do it for the rest of your life. And soon you will find yourself in different situations. You'll find that your aim changes and your life just gets better. It's like magic, but it's not. It's purposeful action.